Hello and welcome to Finish Your Business. In our podcast, we leave no business unfinished. I am your host Namrata Sethi and this podcast is brought to you by Haga Helia University of Applied Sciences, Helsinki Business College, Aalto University and The Shortcut and the project is funded by Udaman Lito. And here today we have joined by our guest from Easy, Isabel. Hello, and um, and thank you for having me. And this is a uh, doing a podcast is completely new for me, but it's lovely to be here and tell you more about Easy Gevit Uritayet, or in English, it's Light Entrepreneurs. And um, yeah, yeah. It's... Thank you so much for joining us. And if you could please tell a little about yourself. Uh, yeah, so I've been with uh, Easy for just over three years now, and mm-hmm. and seen how huge changes even within the three years in how light entrepreneurship has uh, developed and how seen how it keeps growing all the time. So um, yeah, it's, I've been really enjoyed doing what I do, and my job is to advise people about mm-hmm. um, anything relating to. Give it to use in Finnish or light entrepreneurship in English, and uh, it's really fascinating. No two days are the same, basically. That's great. And uh, Isabel, what does entrepreneurship mean to you, and why is it important? Well, entrepreneurship is um, to me. There's uh, the light entrepreneurship yeah. side, which I advise people on, which is a very flexible way of um, invoicing your work or or being a sort of working for yourself mm-hmm. and then there's the the entrepreneurship which means having your own um, business id and um, and then being a more having more responsibilities but uh, when it comes to both light entrepreneurship and then entrepreneurship um, it means being your own boss mm-hmm. and managing your own work schedules and having to market your own own work and and really um it's it's quite tough right but yeah. at the same time it's very rewarding because mm. you can um at the end of it after the, a day f- full of hard work you can really pat yourself on the back and see <laughs> see the results of of your own effort and yeah. i think um if you really have the determination uh, and just keep going and be um have the have the drive then i think it's for anyone it's it's a it's a really good good journey yeah and how does easy help entrepreneurs uh well our job is to do basically all the bookkeeping for for our um customers users or our clients and so basically when when somebody registers to our our service Mm -hmm. um, we take care of sending their invoices to their customers Mm -hmm. that they've acquired themselves and we also pay out their salaries okay so um, how it differs from being um, an entrepreneur with a business id is that we then uh, we then take care of Um, the VATs uh, mm. or um, the VAT side and the taxation. So we deduct their withholding tax, for example. So they don't have the similar responsibilities as a normal entrepreneur would have. Mm. So it's um, so a lot of people. What they do is they use our service to just get some clients and and try out their ideas and then later mm-hmm. on if they want to apply for for example startup money mm-hmm. or start their own business um then it's completely fine so at least then they've they've uh, tried out their ideas and they can yeah. um it's it's a good sort of a trial trial <laughs> Period. But yeah. basically, what we do is we take care of the boring paperwork side of things, True. so that people can concentrate on on doing their own work, and then uh, we they don't have to worry about pre taxes and other big responsibilities. Um, and but the YEL is one thing that they do have to take care of. Okay, but I'll get that to to that later on. All right. Yeah, it's always good to like, you know, outsource these things so that when you're just getting started, it's good to have some kind of help and assistance. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And a lot of people in Finland, uh, they 
they're a bit scared of starting their own company because yeah. of the responsibilities and and the paperwork side. Because people, a lot of people, they want to concentrate on just doing the work. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we 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 come and help them with uh, taking care of that side, and so that they can just uh, manage their work schedules and marketing and and so forth. Well, and at what stage can an entrepreneur come to you? Um, so we advise them to register as soon as um, before they start actually working mm-hmm. because we give the through our service they get the insurances okay. so they have the accident insurance and the liability insurance mm-hmm. through us okay so it's always a good good um, idea to do the registration before you start your your actual work because mm-hmm. then you know that you're covered by our insurance okay and um so because there are lots of different professions where they actually require for for people to have a valid accident or a liability insurance. So it's also covers that and it doesn't register and doesn't cost you anything. So you can do that at any time and there's no running costs. And yeah. If you could elaborate a little more on what is light entrepreneurship? Uh, well, the light entrepreneurship term is actually... Um, it's uh, because, I mean, entrepreneurship's never light. Yes, it's always, so definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it always has its own, res- you know, um, you have to do the work yes, to, to get clients definitely. or to to actually um, become successful. It's never an easy path for anyone. Yeah. So it's actually come from the light entrepreneurship is uh, basically refers to when when people don't have to do their own bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. So we take care of that side. So in that way, it's lighter than being a standard um, entrepreneur with a business ID. So that's where the light um, word comes in. So when you say like business ID, is it like toy mini me? Yeah, the standard way of... um, the standard form of entrepreneurship is when you have your own business ID and mm. uh, your, uh, for example, toimi nimi or osake yhtiö, as they say yeah. in Finland, or kommanditti yhtiö. So those are the the normal the associations for an entrepreneur. But as an entre- light entrepreneur, you don't have your own business ID, at least when you're invoicing through Easy. Okay. I know there are some services who offer them this um, extra option of having uh, being a light entrepreneur, mm-hmm. but and then also having your business ID. But with us, it's just basically we take care of of the ba- bookkeeping side, and then you don't have that business ID. Yet when you're invoicing through us. All right. And like, who is it for and for what situations? So our service is for anybody who doesn't have large investments. So for example, if you wanted to start your own cafe, Mm -hmm. or if you wanted to establish, for example, a a clothing store, in those cases, um, our service is not suitable Mm. for you because there's so many different um, investments and expenses to take into account. But uh, if you want to invoice for anything that's like, for example, building work, or if you want to do yoga, teaching yoga on a weekend Mm -hmm. or personal training, for example, I mean, there's so many different um, fields of work that you can invoice, but basically the restrictions um, apply to those professions which are either um, need certain licenses. For example, mm. if you want to be a real estate agent okay. or if you want to, you know, to have a, a store of your own and yeah. which require those big investments that we can't, unfortunately, um, well, we have the restrictions to handle. Mm-hmm. So so there's always, always those... Um, limits but we can always if you if you don't don't know if if your idea or the the field of work that you would like to invoice uh, if you're not sure then you can always call us and we can we can advise you on that and yeah. see if it would work through us so how is it different from employment or starting a company um so with us, you don't have an employment contract. Okay. Um, you're working for yourself, mm-hmm. 
but uh, we still we pay out your salary. So from a taxation point of view, mm-hmm. you're in a way you you are um, you are in a in a in a f- employment you're not in an employment contract, but we do pay out your salary. So from okay. a taxation point of view, um, you're uh, how would you say we are in in Finnish is palkansaaja. Okay. In English, I'm not sure what the term is. Mm. But anyway, we yeah. pay out your salary, and uh, then, then again, from the Gela and TE office mm-hmm. perspective, you're an entrepreneur. Okay. So there's different perspectives from different authorities as to what light entrepreneurship is. And then, of course, there's the uh, pensions authority, whose point of view also you're you're an um, entrepreneur so then why the yl insurance yeah. should be taken if your yearly income from any sort of entrepreneur real work goes over a certain amount okay so like you said that you do offer these insurances like the liability one and mm. the accident one right yeah and uh, while you are using easy as a light entrepreneur you do have to take the yel insurance as well Yes. So the um, threshold or the minimum mm-hmm. um, amount for the YEL insurance this year is eight thousand and sixty-three euros point fifty-seven. That's if I um, remember correctly. But um, if you if your yearly income goes over that amount, then okay. uh, the YEL insurance is is compulsory, and that's what accumulates your. Social security and your pension as a as an entrepreneur or a light entrepreneur. So light entrepreneurs are also also fall into the um, or be, are liable to take the YEL if if those the, they exceed that minimum amount per year. And uh, can I choose to do light entrepreneurship uh, while I'm working? Yes, of course. Um, so a lot of people they do it as a, like a side hustle okay um so they have a nine to five job for example um and then on a weekend they want to do something else like for example teach yoga or yeah. if they have a hobby that they want to earn a bit of cash from they can do it as a light entrepreneur and then it's a lot easier than having to have that um start you know establish a business id so they can then just send a few invoices to their mm-hmm. clients and if they want to do it for example for a month then that's fine and then they can just they don't have to think about it again if it's not for them and so there's it's very flexible in that way mm. um so a lot of people they get their main um income from light entrepreneurship and then some people they send one invoice and then uh, never you know then <laughs> then they don't um then they do something else i mean it's very very flexible Okay. Is there like a time limit that you can only do light entrepreneurship till a certain mm-hmm. time and then you have to establish a company? Um, not really. The only advice I would give is that um, if you do start getting more larger expenses mm-hmm. and investments, then that's a good time to start your own company yeah. because then it's a lot easier to get those expenses, mm, uh, you know, the deductions for those mm-hmm. expenses. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas if you want to purely concentrate on invoicing, do work invoicing, then, I mean, light entrepreneurship is a great, mm-hmm. great option for that. Yeah. I have a lot of uh, freelancers, friends, like, you know, who are using these services. Yeah. And uh, one of the things which they always uh, ask is, uh, we do not know if I can bill my international clients also using mm-hmm. this service. So yeah. is that a possibility? Yes, that's actually a good question because um, if you want to, if you have a client overseas, any in any country um, apart from Norway, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Norway is only an exception because of taxation reasons. All right. But if you have any clients or a company you want to invoice in another country, then it's also completely um, fine. Uh, so then in that case, you would um, just have a, you would, Just fill out this invoicing draft through our website in any as usual um but then we if it's a company which is in an eu country mm-hmm. then you would need their vat number and okay. then it can be sent with 
zero percent VAT. But we can, um, if if you want to invoice a company overseas, then we can always. You don't have to rem- remember that now. We can then send you more information, and you can give us a call. But it's yeah. uh, even if it's outside EU. Uh, yes. So any country, I don't think there's any other restrictions other than Norway. But okay. if the work's done in Norway or completed in in Norway, then you can't unfortunately invoice um, a company in, over there. But if the work's done in Finland, mm-hmm. then it's possible to invoice a company in Norway. So okay. it's but <laughs> tiny details. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like those little little things that that. But um, you can always um, ask us if you're unsure. And but as far as I know, there's no other restrictions with any other countries within the EU or outside the EU. So if I move to Finland, I have recently moved to Finland, and I, what would be what would I require if I need to take up light uh, entrepreneurship? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so if you're uh, just moved mm-hmm. to Finland and you're looking to, for example, do freelancing or yeah. you just want to get started with, uh, you, for example, there's a company and they don't want to offer you a permanent employment relationship at this stage, but they're interested in working with you, uh, then in that case, um, you would need to get a Finnish uh, social security number and a tax card. Okay. And those are the like the requirements to use our service. Um And then um, also, if you come from outside the EU, then uh, you would need a residence permit, and um, it needs to have the unlimited working rights. Okay. So those are good to keep into, you know, um, keep in mind if you want to work as a light entrepreneur and you've just come come to Finland from overseas, and because um, in some cases they do, it is more preferable to start your own. You know, mm-hmm. business ID or establish a business ID. But in, I mean, if if you've been here for a little while and you have your tax card and everything, yeah. then um, then you can, you know, start start doing light entrepreneurship and then maybe later have a business ID if that's a better better option. Yeah, I think this kind of really encourages you to test out your ideas and uh, you know. Uh, without much more fears because most of the mm. work of bookkeeping and billing which is kind of I sometimes feel a little tedious or people get mm. you know a uh, little bit scared of is taken care by you guys yes yeah uh, so I mean we were established uh, 10 years ago over 10 years ago and just started very small and since then I mean it's just grown and grown and grown and now light entrepreneurship is you know a very known term and it's it's uh, there's a lot of light entrepreneurship companies around i mean mm-hmm. and we we were the pioneers who started this whole this whole um gebut urita use in finland yeah. so we've had to really go through all the you know um do the do the tough work of of you know go with the taxations and and getting getting other different authorities familiar with this this whole new way of working because I mean before it was only just a, the standard way of having uh, your own company but now I mean light entrepreneurship is everybody well most people know how it's what it is at least mm-hmm. and then um, so it's been really um, it's amazing to see where in 10 years of how this This way of working has completely uh, changed, changed like entrepreneurship in Finland, and I'm sure there's there's the similar companies overseas as well. Yeah, and what kind of entrepreneurs are you generally dealing with in your day to day like work? Uh, well, we have, I mean, different fields of work from. I mean, I've I haven't even come across these different um, occupations in before. I mean, I started working for Easy. There was, I mean, I just got there was different, uh, you know, titles or occupations I'd never even heard of before. Okay. Um, so from construction work, that's a big, mm-hmm. big area. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people they they work for different um, construction companies, and then they they do the billing through us and then also 
we have um, you know personal trainers and many people who do marketing, copywriting, photography, um, doing like different sales work. I mean, it's mm. the list goes on and on. I mean, <clears throat> there's so many different different fields of work that are possible through us. Yeah. And if I'm not sure that, you know, if flight entrepreneurship is for me, so is it like a way that they can just reach out to you and then, you know, you can gui- you could guide them? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, you can always call us where, I mean, we have we have an office in, in Ruoholahti mm-hmm. and also you can contact us through chat or calling us or email and we always answer our call or we call you back on the same day if we're not mm-hmm. able to take your call right that minute okay. but it's always our promise that we always call you back within within that same day okay. and and we're really uh want to give you like we want to make our um our light entrepreneurs or our, our customers feel like they're really um they're really like a part of a big family because we want we want it to be uh, as effortless and, and easy as possible, as like yeah. our name <laughs> represents <laughs> yes, easy. easy. Yeah. And what would we say that uh, what is the, like the best thing when you are considering light entrepreneurship? Um, so the best thing, um, that's a good question. Mm, it would be... Mm, is to maybe think of, if is this a what is it that I want to do? Mm-hmm. What is it? What is, um, I, d- I think people have become a lot braver when mm-hmm. they think about, um, turning their ideas into reality. Yeah. So I think to start with, have a really good think about, um, how you can get customers, how you can market your work and, um, what's your way of being an, an entrepreneur or a light entrepreneur, and what's what is it that you really want to do, and how can you um, grow as a self-employed person? Mm-hmm. So I think that's a good way to start, and then um, then put up. A, I think it's good to maybe have a website and um, start by start small, start talking to people and contacting companies and really being active and I think that's the then small show yeah. <laughs> surely um I mean baby steps yeah that's baby that's the uh I think the key to then then and determination don't give up always and look for new ideas I mean we live in a world where well it's it's constantly changing yes. and you have to keep up with everything and keep up with you know um the digital digital world so always be um stay on track and just make sure that you take holidays as well because i think with light entrepreneurship as well as the standard way of working as an entrepreneur i think you sometimes have to remind people to take holidays (laughs) i think that's a very good point that you said that you know because entrepreneurs are so busy Mm. and uh, it's good to remind them that you have to take care of yourself as well yeah i mean uh, it's it's so important because otherwise um, you don't know. I mean, we live in a society where, especially when you're working for yourself, yeah. it's so easy to get to just keep going and going and going, and then suddenly, um, I mean, you you can only give as much as uh, as much as you. I mean, taking care of yourself and and that if you take care of yourself, then you can give more. I think yeah. to to that's your customers and as an as a entrepreneur. Yeah, that's very well said. <laughs> and this just brings us to the last question that uh, if what advice you would give to an entrepreneur uh, in five words? Um, I thought about this for a while and, and I think take care of yourself is definitely one. Because, I mean, if you don't take care, take care of yourself and you don't um, take care of your own well-being then how can you be of service to others and how can you be your best best Mm. self and I think when you really take time and schedule your workload so that you're you've got that time set aside to do some just be you know do something completely different yeah 
go away for on holidays and, and I mean when it's possible <laughs> but yes. but um I mean that's that's where it starts I think is um when you can really um really put time aside to nourish your own own uh or take care of your own well-being then then you start and don't try and rush too much into becoming an overnight success always mm-hmm. um remember that it's it's small steps and then don't try and uh <laughs> just uh, make sure that you know one step at a time every day yeah and then i mean in five years who you could be in a completely different place but i mean <laughs> but yeah everybody all entrepreneurs i think have started small yeah that's and true. not expecting too much from day one and just having small goals and going going by that I think is a good rule <laughs> yeah but uh, thank you so much Isabel thank you mm. for you know just sharing these wonderful insights about light entrepreneurship and thank you so much for joining us no nope. if you want to go and um, check out our website it's gevitritayat.easy.fi um, and we have loads of information there we have a you know and then you can do your registering with your net bank codes if if you feel like this is uh, sounds like a good idea and then um also you can so everything basically happens online with our service and it's got all our contact details so um feel free to give us a call if you have any questions at all we're really friendly we're a friendly bunch and we have, we're really happy to help anybody who has even if If you have any crazy idea then you always, <laughs> you can always give us a call. Yeah, that's great. I'm sure we'll be able to add the website in the description as well. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for it was really nice to have you.